die indirekte Frage, the indirect question. There's only two things you need to remember. Let's get right into it. One example, uh, you can use the indirect questioning for making sure that you have understood someone correctly. For example, someone asks you something like, hey, woher kommst du? And you don't get that. Maybe it was too loud or he was speaking too fast. And you ask, Entschuldigung, uh, das habe ich nicht verstanden. Kannst du das bitte wiederholen? And then he says, hey, ich habe gefragt, woher du kommst. And I hope you notice that the woher now is written with a lowercase w and therefore gets a bit angry. If you get reduced in size, you get angry and want to push someone. And so does woher. Woher pushes the verb kommst, as it is, to the very end of the sentence. So if you have a W question like wer, wo, was, wie, wann and the others, you just take it and put it after a comma and let it push the verb. One more example. Wo hast du den Pullover gekauft? Entschuldigung, das habe ich nicht verstanden. Kannst du das nochmal wiederholen? Ich habe gefragt, wo du den Pullover gekauft hast. I chose an example from the perfect tense because you have now two verbs, yeah? the gekauft and the hast. The gekauft is already at the end, there's nothing to push, so the pusher always takes the next available verb only and puts it to the very end, pushes it there, and this is how you use it. Now, unfortunately, in your language as in mine, there are two kinds of questions. Um, so we had the W questions, wer, wo, was, and we have yes, no questions or decision questions, Entscheidungsfragen. One example, kommst du heute Abend mit auf die Party? You still didn't get that. Entschuldigung, was? Ich habe gefragt, ob du mit auf die Party kommst. Now you have ob here, which your dictionary might say means if or whether. Please never use it as if, always translate it in the sense of whether, because that's its only function. Otherwise, you get confused. So, op means whether and makes the whole thing understandable. And it's also a pusher, as you can see, the kommst, unchanged, goes to the very end. One more example. Hast du den Pullover bei Walmart gekauft? Entschuldigung, was? Ich habe gefragt, ob du den Pullover bei Walmart gekauft hast. The ob pushes the hast behind the gekauft, as before. That's all you need to know. Thank you. Vielen Dank für deine Aufmerksamkeit und weiterhin viel Vergnügen mit deinem Deutsch.